Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the latest version of the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Date 36. This is the reference 128348RBR with exquisite factory set diamonds, diamond indices, and turquoise dial. This watch is 36 millimeters in diameter by 12.5 millimeters thick, lug to lug 43.4 millimeters. And if you include the end links of the bracelet, just a little bit broader at 45 millimeters across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Pop open the bracelet, throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it fits quite well. Yellow gold is the boldest of golds, and this watch is remarkably bold. Everything about it is extravagant, exuberant, unrestrained, and the timepiece is also handsomely handmade, as these turquoise dial and gem set watches are among the few Rolex watches that continue to receive considerable hand finishing and execution at the Rolex factory in Geneva. Now, on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see this is a dress watch. It'll fit underneath your cuff, no problems there, and from side to side across the wrist, it's nowhere near the edge of my wrist. You can also see from over the top that the timepiece is probably suitable for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. As the latest version of the President bracelet, whether on the 40 or the 36, it has pivoted rather than rigid end links, so it pulls straight down around a small wrist. The watch is very substantial, solid case back, solid center links, milled out clasp. These modern day Rolex watches in gold feel like any other brand's platinum watch. They're that impressive. Now taking a quick look, you can see that the Date 8 36 hasn't changed a whole lot uh, since its debut in the mid-1950s. It remains the ultimate power watch in a compact size. Of course, the watch is nicknamed the President, but the bracelet properly is called the President. Um, three links, but more robust than the small link Jubilee. It's somewhere between the Jubilee and the Oyster in terms of its, its fit, its feel, and its durability, which means it's suitable for use as a sports bracelet, but because of the small cross section of the links, it's also very silky. It's also exceptionally well vented, and you can see that from underneath. Polished outer faces, polished centers, satin finished shoulders, and then you have the crown clasp, the famous piece that disguises the partition point of the bracelet. You can't really see the partition point. You can only see the five-point coronet where they separate. And then you have a lift lock system now with a beak and a hook. So though the clasp is simple and flat, it is a click shut system that needs to be opened positively. It's not friction fit, so it gives you sports watch security. Removable links are fixed in place by screws, and you can see that all of the removable links, and there are many of them, are fixed by screws. No pins and sleeves here. Now the watch is nicknamed the President because of its alternately famous and infamous ownership history by many of the world's power elite, for better or worse, it remains a power watch par excellence. It's also surprisingly graceful. The case, all of high polish, is very much like the Datejust or the Daytona, with its handsome complex curves and contours. It's not the super case you see on the sports watches. Polished on its tops, polished on its sides, the looks come to a graceful taper. And then we have a Rolex twin lock crown in gold, and you know that because it has the two dots. That is a twin lock in gold, screw down, 100 meters, water resistant. We have these lovely hand-set diamonds, brilliant cut, that ring the watch. They are set into the bezel, and they are graded for uh, color and clarity, and you can really see that they are identical. This type of evaluation is done both by eye and by optical scanner at Rolex, so there's no color gradient or grading gradient from diamond to diamond. Underneath the sapphire crystal, you can see that the same treatment has been lavished on the individual gold indices. Each one has been paved with tiny, brilliant cut diamonds, and then the watch features yellow gold hands, yellow gold coronet, and yellow gold frame for the day and the date. It's a double quick set watch with a quick set for both calendar indications and hack or stop second. You can also see an extraordinary hand-finished turquoise dial that is truthfully the most beautiful that Rolex offers at any price today. I can absolutely commit to this without tergiversation, without any kind of crisis of confidence. This is the most beautiful dial Rolex makes in the year 2021. Uh, this watch is from 2020, so it is right up to the minute and updated inside from the previous generation with the caliber 3255 Rolex manufacture movement, 70 hour power reserve with the Chronergy Liga etched escapement, or I should say the Liga built escapement because it is an additive process, not reductive. Beats away at 20 
28,800 vibrations per hour in addition to the double quick set. There is the stop seconds. It pivots on 31 joules. It uses Rolex's new in-house shock protection, Paraflex, rather than the old Kif. It has a full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance. It uses a handmade Breguet overcoil hairspring to help it earn the Rolex superlative chronometer certification, which means after it gets the COSC certificate, the movement goes into the case. It's tested in six positions, not five, and then it's guaranteed to run no worse than minus two plus two seconds from the factory or better. That is what superlative chronometer means in the year 2021. Of course, that overcoil hairspring is also made of a blue oxidized niobium zirconium, which makes it highly anti-magnetic. Water resistant, shock resistant, anti-magnetic, it is all of those. And it uses a bi-directional winding system for smooth, silent action, as well as a rotor bearing rather than the old jeweled staff for girder shock resistance. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.